Well, this trip, I'm in Talladega National Forest in central Alabama with my good friend, Joy Coconado. We started at the intersection of State Route 281 and the intersection of the Chinnabee Silent Trail. We're taking the Chinnabee Silent Trail down toward Chinnabee Lake. Find a little place somewhere along the way to camp tonight. Then we're gonna take the Skyway Trail back up to State Route 281. Hop on the Penhody Trail and then come back to the Chinnabee uh, Silent Trail. I believe it's about a 18 mile loop uh, there's a little rain in the forecast for tonight, but uh, the next two days look good. We're out for a three-nighter, and uh, the temperature is fantastic. The temps are going to be in the high 70s and uh, lows in the 50s, so I believe it's going to be a fantastic little trip. And by the way, I did this trip in 2009 with my friend Johnny Malloy, but we started at Adams Gap and did the loop in reverse. So. So be a little different approach. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so we're starting day two. Uh, last night we found a really nice campsite off trail in a pine forest with a lot of uh, pine needle ground cover uh, next to a stream for water. Uh, it started raining right at about eight o'clock last night, so we got to camp about 5.30, got our uh, camp set up and was uh, getting ready to cook dinner and the rain started, so we had to cook under the tarp and uh, sit under the tarp and uh, tell old backpacking stories. So today we're continuing on the Chinope Silent Trail down to Chinope Lake. And then just before we get to the lake, we'll cross Chinope Creek, connect with the Skyway Trail, and then we're gonna go up the Skyway Trail toward uh, State Route 281 and hopefully find a place to camp before we get to about two miles or so before we get to 281 maybe I don't know six miles or so but hopefully it's going to be a great day we've got overcast today it's about 64 degrees we just passed some backpackers and they say there's a chance of rain today but I don't believe it'll be anything substantial
not that cold. Do I set up my tent now or do I still have to keep collecting firewood? No, I think you have to collect some more firewood first. Your chores aren't done yet. Morning! Made it to day number three. Okay, this is day three. Yesterday, uh, we didn't quite make as many miles as we'd planned on, but we found a great campsite along a nice creek. Got there about four o'clock, decided to go ahead and camp. Started raining about 4.30, kind of on and off lightly till about six o'clock. We had to scramble around and get our camp set up. But uh, today we're continuing on the Skyway Trail up to State Route 281. Then we're going to cross the road and hook up with the Pinote Trail and camp somewhere tonight along the Pinote Trail. Last night the low was only 52. And actually, actually that was about 11 o'clock last night. Then it started warming up. So uh, today is uh, out in the mid 60s. It's uh, mostly cloudy. We've had the sun pop out every now and then, which is uh, really nice so hopefully it's going to be a really nice day with no rain
We are uh, wrapping up day three. We uh, probably had our longest day so far. I'm thinking maybe seven and a half miles, maybe eight. We climbed up the Skyway Trail and intersected with the Penhody Trail about a tenth of a mile before Adams Gap. Crossed over out of Adams Gap and climbed up to a knob and then we've been continuing on the Penhody Trail. We found a little campsite on a little knob of a rib ridge. There's water about 100 yards away, so we're gonna camp in these nice soft pine needles and uh, call it a day. Good morning. We have made it to day number four. <laughs> Go time. I'm in the trail. I'm just kidding, there's no more food in that pack. It's much lighter than it was on day one. Okay. We're on the trail and it's day number four. We camped last night, actually made a camp in uh, a little pine forest on a knob with a branch only a couple of hundred feet away. Yesterday we hiked in maybe two miles from uh, Adams Gap and we think maybe we have uh, six or seven miles out today. The, uh, boy, the low last night was only 59. It's about 70 degrees right now, partly cloudy, although it uh, tends to get cloudy at times and then break up a little bit, so hopefully we'll have dry weather all day. We're still uh, going up and down all these rib bridges, and uh, it's just up 100 feet, down 200, up 200, down 100, so it's hard to get a rhythm going, but uh, it's going to be a fun day.
dropping down now. Okay, we are ending day four. We're almost back to the parking lot at the Turnip Speed, Turnip Seed uh, campsite. Today was an interesting day. We had uh, finally got out of the rib ridges and had, I don't know, maybe 800 foot climb. I don't have a topo map and I didn't check my uh, altimeter. Got up on the main ridge line, a lot of rocky trail. Uh, interesting ridge line hike with a lot of really pretty good views. Got to the intersection of the uh, China, Chinabe Silent Trail and descended from the ridge. And we're now, uh, I don't know, maybe half a mile or so from the parking lot. It's really been a nice day. The temperature is about 70 degrees. Mostly cloudy, but the uh, sun's been peeking through every now and then and no rain. So, Joy, how did you like uh, Talladega National Forest and the Chiha Wilderness? Uh, I love it. I definitely like it more when it's... Uh... A little bit sunny and dry. Um, that goes with anywhere you're at. It uh, it really reminded me of the Smoky Mountains north of here. That's really my only experience in these kinds of mountains. And uh, charming. I, you know, I really liked uh, on was it day two when we dropped down? Is it the Chinope River? Yeah, Chinope Creek. And that's where uh, the Devil's Den area was with all those waterfalls. You know, that was really nice. And there were some really nice campsites in there. Um, that'd be nice to stay at. And then I really loved uh, really the last two days from the second half of the Skyline Trail to where we reached Adams Gap in the uh, Pinote Trail. Trail. And from there, walking this way, just uh, a, a different feel. A lot more openness uh, with views. Uh, the trees were nicer. It was like a lot different, more different types of trees. And we started getting to more rocks started getting to the lichen and everything and the colors were just uh classic southeastern mountain stuff so really loved it and uh, i could definitely come back here and do a trip again um i, I love the rivers I, I feel like we ran past a lot of the rivers on the first two days just because yeah, it was rainy yeah, but yeah, there was some yeah. really nice stuff in there the rivers were a little bit bigger so yeah that's my uh that's my take all right, this is the uh, second backpacking trip that Joy and I have done together. The last one was in August in Yellowstone. Uh, we really had a lot of fun, and hopefully we'll be doing some more stuff in the future. But anyway, great four days in uh, Talladega National Forest in the Chiha Wilderness. I hope you enjoy watching the video, and uh, thanks for watching. See you guys.